look at the first question on magnets. So we have a plastic rod and four ring magnets as you can see below. So the question asks us to identify the poles of the faces of W, X and Y by filling in the boxes above. So this is quite simple. All right, let's start with magnet Z. Okay, we actually see that the question has labeled for us that this portion is the north pole of magnet Z. So very naturally, this will be the south pole of magnet Z. Yeah? And because Z and Y are stacked on top of one another, they are attracting each other. And we know that unlike poles of magnets attract one another. So this is definitely going to be the north pole and that will be the south seeking pole of magnet Y. Now, between magnet X and magnet Y, we see a gap, which means that they are repelling one another. And since like poles of magnet repel one another, we can very safely identify this portion of magnet X as the south pole, okay? And the top portion will be the north pole. Similarly, W and X are repelling one another. So this shaded portion of magnet W will be similar to this, which is the north pole. And finally, we have the south seeking pole of magnet W. Okay, so this is easy. Let's look at the second part of this question. Now, question wants us to explain why W is floating above X, so this portion. Now, we're going to use the ABC technique for this question. We don't need to put in an answer of choice, so let's just skip straight into the evidence part and the concept part of this question. So evidence part will always come from the diagram. So if we look at the diagram, we notice that the light poles of magnet W and X are facing one another. Both are north seeking poles. Okay. And there's repulsion going on. And we know that conceptually, okay, light poles repel one another when they face each other. So if we tie this all up and put it into the answer, Okay, we see that the light poles of magnets W and X are facing each other. And the concept is magnets repel when their light poles are facing each other. So we see W floating above X. Very simple as well. Okay, the last question. All right, what can be done to get all the magnets to rest on top of one another such that none are floating? So essentially, we want all the magnets to stack up on top of one another. And to do so, we need to make sure that all the magnets are attracted to each other. And the concept behind allowing this to happen is to make sure that the unlike poles are facing each other. Okay? So a lot of questions will just, a lot, sorry, a lot of students will just straight away jump and write, I feed the magnets. All right? But you need to know that this is not a specific enough answer because Think about it, if you flip W, X and Y all at the same time, you literally will just go back to status quo, meaning W will still repel X, X will still repel Y. There won't be any difference, okay? So you need to be specific. You either flip X, because if you flip X, you will realize that the unlike poles of X and W will be facing each other, and the unlike poles of X and Y will also be facing each other, okay? So that will allow them to actually be all attracted, Alternatively, okay, you can be specific and say flip the magnets such that their unlike poles are facing one another. So do take note when you see a question like this in the future.